a Linux distribution that just replaced decades of proven C code with Rust implementations. Ubuntu 25.10 Questing Quokka launched October 9, 2025, making radical changes to core system tools. Canonical replaced GNU Core Utils and Sudo with memory-safe Rust versions called UUtils and Sudo RS. The announcement calls this improving security posture. Critics call it reckless experimentation with foundational components. So is this modernization or unnecessary risk? Ubuntu 25.10 ships with Linux kernel 6.17, GNOME 49, and nine months of support until July 2026. It introduces TPM-backed full-disk encryption, Wayland-only sessions, and new apps like Loop Image Viewer and Tixis Terminal Emulator. Solid improvements for hardware support and user experience. Controversy begins with sudo rs becoming the default implementation, despite being a complete Rust rewrite. Traditional sudo has powered Linux systems reliably for decades. The Rust version promises memory safety and fewer attack surfaces, but rewriting trusted tools introduces new unknowns. Even GNU maintainers question if theoretical safety gains justify replacing optimized, stable code. The core util switch follows the same logic. Ubuntu 25.10 is the first major distro adopting UUtils, a Rust rewrite of commands like ls, cp, and mv. Early builds were slower, but new benchmarks show major speed gains. Still, users are effectively beta testing system foundations in production. Real-world feedback is mixed. Some report broken drivers, failed flatpak installs, and missing NVNC support. Timeshift backups save them, but many are holding off until major issues get fixed. That's normal for interim releases, but riskier when the core utilities are brand new. For enterprises, this release sets the stage for 26.04 LTS. Testers get nine months to adapt, but production users must decide. Adopt Rust tools now, or face tougher migrations later. Reviews call it ambitious and controversial, pushing boundaries while sparking debate over Ubuntu's balance between stability and modernization. Performance games are real, especially for gaming. Wayland delivers smoother Vulkan performance and proper variable refresh rate support, though some X11 apps show minor issues. The verdict? Ubuntu 25.10 is bold and innovative, but demands high risk tolerance. If you value cutting-edge features and can handle breakage, it delivers. If you prefer stability, Ubuntu 24.04 LTS remains the safer choice until these Rust experiments mature. If this helped you decide whether to upgrade, great. Progress sometimes feels like beta testing disguised as innovation. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> It's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now, the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.